The Canary Islands, Spanish, Isla Canarias, pronounced Islas Canajas, is a Spanish archipelago and the southernmost autonomous community of Spain located in the Atlantic Ocean, 100 kilometers (62 miles) west of Morocco at the closest point. The Canaries are among the outermost regions (OMR) of the European Union proper. It is also one of the 8 regions with special consideration of historical nationality recognized as such by the Spanish government. The Canary Islands belong to the African plate like the Spanish cities of Ceuta and Melilla, the two on the African mainland. The seven main islands are from largest to smallest in area Tenerife, Fuerteventura, Gran Canaria, Lanzarote, La Palma, La Gomera, and El Hierro. The archipelago includes much smaller islands and islets, La Graciosa, Alegranza, Isla de Lobos, Montaña Clara, Roque del Oeste and Roque del Este. It also includes a series of adjacent roques those of Salmor, Fasnia, Bonanza, Garashiko and Anaga. In ancient times, the island chain was often referred to as the Fortunate Isles. The Canary Islands are the most southerly region of Spain and the largest and most populated archipelago of the Macaronesia region. Historically, the Canary Islands has been considered a bridge between four continents Africa, North America, South America, and Europe. The archipelago's beaches, climate, and important natural attractions, especially Mis Palomas in Gran Canaria and Teta National Park and Mount Teta a World Heritage Site in Tenerife, the third tallest volcano in the world measured from its base on the ocean floor, make it a major tourist destination with over 12 million visitors per year, especially Gran Canaria, Tenerife, Fuerteventura and Lanzarote. The islands have a subtropical climate, with long hot summers and moderately warm winters. The precipitation levels and the level of maritime moderation vary depending on location and elevation. Green areas as well as desert exist on the archipelago. Due to their location above the temperature inversion layer, the high mountains of these islands are ideal for astronomical observation. For this reason, two professional observatories, Teta Observatory on the island of Tenerife and Roque de los Muchachos Observatory on the island of La Palma, have been built on the islands. The capital of the autonomous community is shared by the cities of Santa Cruz de Tenerife and Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, which in turn are the capitals of the provinces of Santa Cruz de Tenerife and province of Las Palmas. Las Palmas de Gran Canaria has been the largest city in the Canaries since 1768, except for a brief period in the 1910s. Between the 1833 Territorial Division of Spain and 1927 Santa Cruz de Tenerife was the sole capital of the Canary Islands. In 1927 a decree ordered that the capital of the Canary Islands be shared, as it remains at present. The third largest city of the Canary Islands is San Cristobal de la Laguna a World Heritage Site on Tenerife. This city is also home to the Consejo Consultivo de Canarias, which is the supreme consultative body of the Canary Islands. During the time of the Spanish Empire, the Canaries were the main stopover for Spanish galleons on their way to the Americas, which came south to catch the prevailing northeasterly trade winds. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic. The name Isla Canarias is likely derived from the Latin name Canariae Insulae, meaning, Islands of the Dogs, a name that was applied only to Gran Canaria. According to the historian Pliny the Elder, the Mauritanian king Juba II named the island Canaria because it contained, vast multitudes of dogs of very large size. Alternatively, it is said that the original inhabitants of the island, Guanches, used to worship dogs, mummified them and treated dogs generally as holy animals. The ancient Greeks also knew about a people, living far to the west, who are the dog-headed ones, who worshipped dogs on an island. Some hypothesize that the Canary Islands dog worship and the ancient Egyptian cult of the dog-headed god, Anubis are closely connected but there is no explanation given as to which one was first. Other theories speculate that the name comes from the Nukhari Berber tribe living in the Moroccan Atlas, named in Roman sources as Canary, though Pliny again mentions the relation of this term with dogs. The connection to dogs is retained in their depiction on the island's coat of arms shown above. It is considered that the Aborigines of Gran Canaria called themselves Canarios. It is possible that after being conquered, this name was used in plural in Spanish, i.e., as to refer to all of the islands as the Canary as, what is certain is that the name of the islands does not derive from the Canary bird, rather, the birds are named after the islands. 
Physical geography Tenerife is the largest and most populous island of the archipelago. Gran Canaria, with 865,070 inhabitants, is both the Canary Islands' second most populous island, and the third most populous one in Spain after Majorca. The island of Fuerteventura is the second largest in the archipelago and located 100 kilometers 62 miles from the African coast. The islands form the Macronesia ecoregion with the Azores, Cape Verde, Madeira, and the Savage Isles. The Canary Islands is the largest and most populated archipelago of the Macronesia region. The archipelago consists of seven large and several smaller islands, all of which are volcanic in origin. According to the position of the islands with respect to the northeast trade winds, the climate can be mild and wet or very dry. Several native species form lorisilva forests. As a consequence, the individual islands in the Canary Archipelago tend to have distinct microclimates. Those islands such as El Hierro, La Palma and La Gomera lying to the west of the archipelago have a climate which is influenced by the moist Canary current. They are well vegetated even at low levels and have extensive tracts of sub-tropical Lorisilva forest. As one travels east toward the African coast, the influence of the current diminishes, and the islands become increasingly arid. Fuerteventura and Lanzarote, the islands which are closest to the African mainland, are effectively desert or semi-desert. Gran Canaria is known as a continent in miniature for its diverse landscapes like Mispalomas and Roque Nublo. In terms of its climate Tenerife is particularly interesting. The north of the island lies under the influence of the moist Atlantic winds and is well vegetated, while the south of the island around the tourist resorts of Playa de las Americas and Los Cristianos is arid. The island rises to almost 4,000 meters feet above sea level, and at altitude, in the cool relatively wet climate, forests of the endemic pine Pinus canariensis thrive. Many of the plant species in the Canary Islands, like the Canary Island pine and the dragon tree, Dracaena draco are endemic, as noted by Sabin Berthelot and Philip Barker Webb in their epic work, La Histoire Naturelle des Isles Canaries Climate The climate is subtropical and desertic, moderated by the sea and in summer by the trade winds. There are a number of microclimates and the classifications range mainly from semi-arid to desert. According to the Köppen climate classification, the majority of the Canary Islands have a hot desert climate represented as BWH. There also exists a subtropical humid climate which is very influenced by the ocean in the middle of the islands of La Gomera, Tenerife and La Palma, where the Lorisilva forests grow. Geology The seven major islands, one minor island, and several small islets were originally volcanic islands, formed by the Canary Hotspot. The Canary Islands is the only place in Spain where volcanic eruptions have been recorded during the modern era, with some volcanoes still active El Hierro, 2011. Volcanic islands such as those in the Canary Chain often have steep ocean cliffs caused by catastrophic debris avalanches and landslides. The Teta volcano on Tenerife is the highest mountain in Spain, and the third tallest volcano on Earth on a volcanic ocean island. All the islands except La Gomera have been active in the last million years, four of them Lanzarote, Tenerife, La Palma and El Hierro have historical records of eruptions since European discovery. The islands rise from Jurassic oceanic crust associated with the opening of the Atlantic. Underwater magmatism commenced during the Cretaceous, and reached the ocean's surface during the Miocene. The islands are considered as a distinct physiographic section of the Atlas Mountains province, which in turn is part of the larger African Alpine System division. In the summer of 2011 a series of low-magnitude earthquakes occurred beneath El Hierro. These had a linear trend of northeast-southwest. In October a submarine eruption occurred about 2 km south of Ristinga. This eruption produced gases and pumice, but no explosive activity was reported. The following table shows the highest mountains in each of the islands. Topic: Natural symbols. Topic: The official natural symbols associated with Canary Islands are the bird Sirenus canaria, canary, and the phoenix canariensis palm. 
Topic: National Parks. Topic: Four of Spain's 13 national parks are located in the Canary Islands, more than any other autonomous community. Teta National Park is the most visited in Spain, and the oldest and largest within the Canary Islands. The parks are The Canary Islands have four national parks, of which two have been declared World Heritage Site by UNESCO, and the other two declared a World Biosphere Reserve. These national parks are Caldera de Taburiente National Park La Palma, created in 1954, it was declared a World Biosphere Reserve in 2002. It covers an area of 46.9 square kilometers, 18.1 square miles. Garajane National Park La Gomera, created in 1981, it was declared in 1986 a World Heritage Site. Its area is 3986 hectares at the core and some areas north of the island. Timanfaya National Park Lanzarote, created in 1974, it was declared a biosphere reserve in 1993 together with the whole island. Occupies an area of 51.07 square kilometers, 19.72 square miles, is located in the southwest of the island. Teta National Park, Tenerife, created in 1954, it was declared a World Heritage Site in 2007. It covers an area of 18,990 hectares, is the oldest and largest national park in the Canary Islands and one of the oldest in Spain. The Teta in 2010 became the most visited national park in Europe and second worldwide. Located in the geographic center of the island is the most visited national park in Spain. The highlight is the Teta at 3,718 meters altitude, the highest elevation of the country and the third largest volcano on Earth from its base. Teta National Park was declared in 2007 as one of the 12 treasures of Spain. Topic. Politics Topic. Topic. Governance Topic. The islands have 13 seats in the Spanish Senate. Of these, 11 seats are directly elected, 3 for Gran Canaria, 3 for Tenerife, 1 for each other island, 2 seats are indirectly elected by the regional autonomous government. The local government is presided over by Fernando Clavillo, the current president of the Canary Islands. Topic: <inaudible> Canarian nationalism. Topic: There are some pro-independence political parties like the National Congress of the Canaries (CNC) and the Popular Front of the Canary Islands, but these parties are non-violent and their popular support is almost insignificant with no presence in either the autonomous parliament or the cabildos insulares. According to Centro de Investigaciones Sociológicas Sociological Research Center in 2010, 43.5% of the population of the Canary Islands feels more Canarian than Spanish 37.6%, of which 7.6% only Canarian, compared to 5.4% that feels more Spanish than Canarian 2.4% or only Spanish 3%. The most popular choice was of those who feel equally Spanish and Canarian, with 49.9%. With these data, one of the Canary recorded levels of identification with higher autonomy from Spain. Topic. Political geography Topic. The autonomous community of the Canary Islands consists of two provinces, Las Palmas and Santa Cruz de Tenerife, whose capitals Las Palmas de Gran Canaria and Santa Cruz de Tenerife are capitals of the autonomous community. Each of the seven major islands is ruled by an island council named Cabildo Insular. The international boundary of the Canaries is the subject of dispute between Spain and Morocco. Morocco's official position is that international laws regarding territorial limits do not authorize Spain to claim seabed boundaries based on the territory of the Canaries, since the Canary Islands enjoy a large degree of autonomy. In fact, the islands do not enjoy any special degree of autonomy as each one of the Spanish regions is considered an autonomous community. Under the law of the sea, the only islands not granted territorial waters or an exclusive economic zone EEZ are those that are not fit for human habitation or do not have an economic life of their own, which is not the case of the Canary Islands. The boundary determines the ownership of seabed oil deposits and other ocean resources. 
Morocco and Spain have been unable to agree on a compromise regarding the territorial boundary, since neither nation wants to cede its claimed right to the vast resources whose ownership depends upon the boundary. In 2002, for example, Morocco rejected a unilateral Spanish proposal. History Ancient and pre-colonial times Before the arrival of humans, the Canaries were inhabited by prehistoric animals, for example, the giant lizard Galatea goliath, the Tenerife and Gran Canaria giant rats, and giant prehistoric tortoises, Geocellone burchardi and Geocellone vulcanica. The islands may have been visited by the Phoenicians, the Greeks, and the Carthaginians. King Juba II, Caesar Augustus's Numidian protege, is credited with discovering the islands for the Western world. According to Pliny the Elder, Juba found the islands uninhabited, but found a small temple of stone and some traces of buildings. Juba dispatched a naval contingent to reopen the dye production facility at Mogador in what is now western Morocco in the early 1st century AD. That same naval force was subsequently sent on an exploration of the Canary Islands, using Mogador as their mission base. When the Europeans began to explore the islands in the late Middle Ages, they encountered several indigenous peoples living at a Neolithic level of technology. Although the prehistory of the settlement of the Canary Islands is still unclear, linguistic and genetic analyses seem to indicate that at least some of these inhabitants shared a common origin with the Berbers on the nearby North African coast. The precolonial inhabitants came to be known collectively as the Guanches, although Guanches had been the name for only the indigenous inhabitants of Tenerife. From the 14th century onward, numerous visits were made by sailors from Majorca, Portugal and Genoa. Lancelotto Malocello settled on Lanzarote in 1312. The Majorcans established a mission with a bishop in the islands that lasted from 1350 to 1400. Castilian conquest In 1402, the Castilian conquest of the islands began, with the expedition of the French explorers Jean de Bathancourt and Gadifer de la Salle, nobles and vassals of Henry III of Castile, to Lanzarote. From there, they went on to conquer Fuerteventura and El Hierro. Bathancourt received the title King of the Canary Islands, but still recognized King Henry III as his overlord. It was not a simple military enterprise, given the aboriginal resistance on some islands. Neither was it politically, since the particular interests of the nobility determined to strengthen their economic and political power through the acquisition of the islands conflicted with those of the states, particularly Castile, which were in the midst of territorial expansion and in a process of strengthening of the crown against the nobility. Historians distinguish two periods in the conquest of the Canary Islands. Aristocratic conquest conquista seniorial. This refers to the early conquests carried out by the nobility, for their own benefit and without the direct participation of the Crown of Castile, which merely granted rights of conquest in exchange for pacts of vassalage between the noble conqueror and the crown. One can identify within this period an early phase known as the Betancourian or Norman Conquest, carried out by Jean de Bethencourt who was originally from Normandy and Gadifer de la Salle between 1402 and 1405, which involved the islands of Lanzarote, El Hierro and Fuerteventura. The subsequent phase is known as the Castilian Conquest, carried out by Castilian nobles who acquired, through purchases, assignments and marriages, the previously conquered islands and also incorporated the island of La Gomera around 1450. Royal Conquest Conquista Relenga. This defines the conquest between 1478 and 1496, carried out directly by the Crown of Castile, during the reign of the Catholic monarchs, who armed and partly financed the conquest of those islands which were still to unconquered, Gran Canaria, La Palma and Tenerife. This phase of the conquest came to an end in the year 1496, with the dominion of the island of Tenerife, bringing the entire Canarian archipelago under the control of the Crown of Castile. Bathancourt also established a base on the island of La Gomera, but it would be many years before the island was fully conquered. The natives of La Gomera, and of Gran Canaria, Tenerife, and La Palma, resisted the Castilian invaders for almost a century. 
In 1448 Macau de Bathancourt sold the lordship of Lanzarote to Portugal's Prince Henry the Navigator, an action that was accepted by neither the natives nor the Castilians. Despite Pope Nicholas V ruling that the Canary Islands were under Portuguese control, the crisis swelled to a revolt which lasted until 1459 with the final expulsion of the Portuguese. In 1479, Portugal and Castile signed the Treaty of Alcacovas, which settled disputes between Castile and Portugal over the control of the Atlantic. This treaty recognized Castilian control of the Canary Islands but also confirmed Portuguese possession of the Azores, Madeira, and the Cape Verde Islands, and gave the Portuguese rights to any further islands or lands in the Atlantic that might be discovered. The Castilians continued to dominate the islands, but due to the topography and the resistance of the native Guanches, they did not achieve complete control until 1496, when Tenerife and La Palma were finally subdued by Alonso Fernández de Lugo. After that, the Canaries were incorporated into the Kingdom of Castile. <laughs> After the conquest after the conquest, the Castilians imposed a new economic model, based on single crop cultivation, first sugarcane, then wine, an important item of trade with England. In this era, the first institutions of colonial government were founded. Gran Canaria, a colony of the Crown of Castile since 6 March 1480 from 1556, of Spain, and Tenerife, a Spanish colony since 1495, each had its own governor. The cities of Santa Cruz de Tenerife and Las Palmas de Gran Canaria became a stopping point for the Spanish conquerors, traders, and missionaries on their way to the New World. This trade route brought great prosperity to some of the social sectors of the islands. The islands became quite wealthy and soon were attracting merchants and adventurers from all over Europe. Magnificent palaces and churches were built on La Palma during this busy, prosperous period. The Church of El Salvador survives as one of the island's finest examples of the architecture of the 16th century. The Canaries' wealth invited attacks by pirates and privateers. Ottoman Turkish admiral and privateer Kemal Reis ventured into the Canaries in 1501, while Murat Reis the Elder captured Lanzarote in 1585. The most severe attack took place in 1599, during the Dutch Revolt. A Dutch fleet of 74 ships and 12,000 men, commanded by Peter van der Des, attacked the capital Las Palmas de Gran Canaria the city had 3,500 of Gran Canaria's 8,545 inhabitants. The Dutch attacked the Castillo de la Luz, which guarded the harbour. The Canarians evacuated civilians from the city, and the Castillo surrendered, but not the city. The Dutch moved inland, but Canarian cavalry drove them back to Tamaraceta, near the city. The Dutch then laid siege to the city, demanding the surrender of all its wealth. They received twelve sheep and three calves. Furious, the Dutch sent four thousand soldiers to attack the Council of the Canaries, who were sheltering in the village of Santa Brigida. Three hundred Canarian soldiers ambushed the Dutch in the village of Monte Lentiscal, killing one hundred fifty and forcing the rest to retreat. The Dutch concentrated on Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, attempting to burn it down. The Dutch pillaged Mispalomas, on the southern coast of Gran Canaria, San Sebastián on La Gomera, and Santa Cruz on La Palma, but eventually gave up the siege of Las Palmas and withdrew. In 1618 the Barbary pirates attacked Lanzarote and La Gomera taking 1,000 captives to be sold as slaves. Another noteworthy attack occurred in 1797, when Santa Cruz de Tenerife was attacked by a British fleet under Horatio Nelson on 25 July. The British were repulsed, losing almost 400 men. It was during this battle that Nelson lost his right arm. 18th to 19th century The sugar-based economy of the islands faced stiff competition from Spain's American colonies. Low prices in the sugar market in the 19th century caused severe recessions on the islands. A new cash crop, cochineal Cochinilla, came into cultivation during this time, saving the island's economy. 
During this time the Canarian-American trade was developed, in which Canarian products such as cochineal, sugarcane and rum are sold in American ports, such as Veracruz, Campeche, La Guaira and Havana among others. By the end of the 18th century, Canary Islanders had already emigrated to Spanish-American territories, such as Havana, Veracruz, Santo Domingo, San Antonio, Texas and St. Bernard Parish, Louisiana. These economic difficulties spurred mass emigration, primarily to the Americas, during the 19th and first half of the 20th century. Between 1840 and 1890 as many as 40,000 Canary Islanders emigrated to Venezuela. Also, thousands of Canarians moved to Puerto Rico where the Spanish monarchy felt that Canarians would adapt to island life better than other immigrants from the mainland of Spain. Deeply entrenched traditions, such as the Mascaras Festival in the town of Hatillo, Puerto Rico, are an example of Canarian culture still preserved in Puerto Rico. Similarly, many thousands of Canarians emigrated to the shores of Cuba. During the Spanish-American War of 1898, the Spanish fortified the islands against a possible American attack, but no such event took place. Topic. Romantic period and scientific expeditions. Topic. Serrera and Wren 2004 distinguish two different types of expeditions, or voyages, during the period 1770–1830, which they term, the Romantic period. First are, "...expeditions financed by the states, closely related with the official scientific institutions, characterized by having strict scientific objectives and inspired by the spirit of illustration and progress." In this type of expedition, Serrera and Wren include the following travelers J. Edens, whose 1715 ascent and observations of Mount Tata influenced many subsequent expeditions. Louis Fiulet, who was sent to measure the meridian of El Hierro and to map the islands. Jean Charles de Borda, who more accurately measured the longitudes of the islands and the height of Mount Tata. The Baden Ledru expedition, 1796, which aimed to recover a valuable collection of natural history objects. The second type of expedition identified by Serrera and Wren is one that took place starting from more or less private initiatives. Among these, the key exponents were the following Alexander von Humboldt, 1799, Book and Smith, 1815, Brusenet, Webb. Sabin Berthelot, Serrera and Wren identify the period 1770–1830 as one in which, in a panorama dominated until that moment by France and England enters with strength and brio Germany of the Romantic period whose presence in the islands will increase. <laughs> Early 20th century at the beginning of the 20th century, the British introduced a new cash crop, the banana, the export of which was controlled by companies such as FIFS. The rivalry between the elites of the cities of Las Palmas de Gran Canaria and Santa Cruz de Tenerife for the capital of the islands led to the division of the archipelago into two provinces in 1927. This has not laid to rest the rivalry between the two cities, which continues to this day. During the time of the Second Spanish Republic, Marxist and anarchist workers' movements began to develop, led by figures such as José Miguel Pérez and Guillermo Escanio. However, outside of a few municipalities, these organizations were a minority and fell easily to nationalist forces during the Spanish Civil War. <laughs> Franco regime in 1936, Francisco Franco was appointed General Commandant of the Canaries. He joined the military revolt of 17 July which began the Spanish Civil War. Franco quickly took control of the archipelago, except for a few points of resistance on La Palma and in the town of Vallahermoso, on La Gomera. Though there was never a war in the islands, the post war suppression of political dissent on the Canaries was most severe. During the Second World War, Winston Churchill prepared plans for the British seizure of the Canary Islands as a naval base, in the event of Gibraltar being invaded from the Spanish mainland. Opposition to Franco's regime did not begin to organize until the late 1950s, which experienced an upheaval of parties such as the Communist Party of Spain and the formation of various nationalist, leftist parties. Self-governance 
Topic. After the death of Franco, there was a pro-independence armed movement based in Algeria, the Movement for the Independence and Self-Determination of the Canaries Archipelago In 1968, the Organization of African Unity recognized the MAIAC as a legitimate African independence movement, and declared the Canary Islands as an African territory still under foreign rule. After the establishment of a democratic constitutional monarchy in Spain, autonomy was granted to the Canaries via a law passed in 1982, with a newly established autonomous devolved government and parliament. In 1983, the first autonomous elections were held. The Spanish Socialist Workers' Party PSOE won. In the 2007 elections, the PSOE gained a plurality of seats, but the Nationalist Canarian Coalition and the Conservative Partido Popular PP formed a ruling coalition government. Demographics <inaudible> 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 The Canary Islands have a population of 2,117,519 inhabitants 2011, making it the eighth most populous of Spain's autonomous communities, with a density of 282.6 inhabitants per square kilometre. The total area of the archipelago is 7,493 square kilometres 2,893 square miles. The Canarian population includes long-tenured residents and new waves of mainland Spanish immigrants, as well as Moroccan, Colombian, Venezuelan and Italian. Of the total Canarian population in 2009, 2,098,593 1,799,373 were Spanish and 299,220 foreigners. Of these, the majority from the Americas, mainly Colombians 34,210, Venezuelans 31,468, Cubans 11,098 and Dominicans 10,159. There are also 51,136 African residents, mostly Moroccans 39,847. Topic. Population of the individual islands. Topic. The population of the islands according to the 2010 data are Tenerife 906,854 Gran Canaria 845,676 Lanzarote 141,437 including the population of La Graciosa Fuerteventura 103,492 La Palma 86,324 Legamera 22,776 El Hierro 10,960 Topic. Religion Topic. The Roman Catholic branch of Christianity has been the majority religion in the archipelago for more than five centuries, ever since the conquest of the Canary Islands. However, there are other religious communities. Topic. Roman Catholic Church Topic. The overwhelming majority of native Canarians are Roman Catholic 85%, with various smaller foreign-born populations of other Christian beliefs such as Protestants from Northern Europe. The appearance of the Virgin of Candelaria patron of Canary Islands was credited with moving the Canary Islands toward Christianity. Two Catholic saints were born in the Canary Islands, Peter of St. Joseph de Betancourt and José de Anquieta. Both born on the island of Tenerife, they were respectively missionaries in Guatemala and Brazil. The Canary Islands are divided into two Catholic dioceses, each governed by a bishop. Diocesis Canariense, includes the islands of the Eastern Province, Gran Canaria, Fuerteventura and Lanzarote. Its capital was San Marcial el Rubicon 1404 and Las Palmas de Gran Canaria 1483 present. There was a previous bishopric which was based in Telde, but it was later abolished. Diocesis Nivriense, includes the islands of the western province, Tenerife, La Palma, La Gomera and El Hierro. Its capital is San Cristobal de la Laguna 1819 present. Other religions. Topic. Separate from the overwhelming Christian majority are a minority of Muslims. 
Among the followers of Islam, the Islamic Federation of the Canary Islands exists to represent the Islamic community in the Canary Islands as well as to provide practical support to members of the Islamic community. Other religious faiths represented include Jehovah Witnesses, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, as well as Hinduism. Minority religions are also present, such as the Church of the Guanche people, which is classified as a neo pagan native religion. Also present are Buddhism, Judaism, Baha'i, Afro-American religion, and Chinese religions. Statistics The distribution of beliefs in 2012 according to the CIS Barometer Autonomy was as follows Catholic 84.9% Atheist, Agnostic, Unbeliever 12.3% other religions 1.7% Topic Population genetics Topic Topic Islands Topic Ordered from west to east, the Canary Islands are El Hierro, La Palma, La Gomera, Tenerife, Gran Canaria, Fuerteventura and Lanzarote. In addition, north of the latter are the island of La Graciosa, the islets of Montaña Clara, Alegranza, Roque del Este and Roque del Oeste, belonging to the Chinio archipelago, and northeast of Fuerteventura is the islet of Lobos. There are also a series of small adjacent rocks in the Canary Islands, the Roques de Anaga, Garachico and Fasnia in Tenerife, and those of Salmor and Bonanza in El Hierro. El Hierro El Hierro, the westernmost island, covers 268.71 square kilometers, 103.75 square miles, making it the smallest of the major islands and the least populous with 10,753 inhabitants. The whole island was declared reserve of the biosphere in 2000. Its capital is Valverde. Also known as Faro, it was once believed to be the westernmost land in the world. Topic Fuerteventura Fuerteventura, with a surface of 1,660 square kilometers 640 square miles, is the second most extensive island of the archipelago. It has been declared a biosphere reserve by UNESCO. It has a population of 100,929. Being also the most ancient of the islands, it is the one that is more eroded. Its highest point is the peak of the Bramble, at a height of 807 meters (2,648 feet). Its capital is Puerto del Rosario. Topic: <laughs> Gran Canaria. Topic: Gran Canaria has 845,676 inhabitants. The capital, Las Palmas de Gran Canaria 377,203 inhabitants, is the most populous city and shares the status of capital of the Canaries with Santa Cruz de Tenerife. Gran Canaria's surface area is 1,560 square kilometers 600 square miles. In center of the island lie the Roque Nublo 1,813 meters 5,948 feet and Pico de las Nieves, Peak of Snow. 1,949 meters, 6,394 feet. In the south of island are the Mispalomas Dunes, Gran Canaria. These are the biggest tourist attractions. Topic: La Gomera. Topic: La Gomera has an area of 369.76 square kilometers, 142.77 square miles, and is the second least populous island with 22,622 inhabitants. Geologically, it is one of the oldest of the archipelago. The insular capital is San Sebastián de la Gomera. Garajanes National Park is located on the island. Topic: Lanzarote. Topic. Lanzarote is the easternmost island and one of the most ancient of the archipelago, and it has shown evidence of recent volcanic activity. 
It has a surface of 845.94 square kilometers, 326.62 square miles, and a population of 139,506 inhabitants, including the adjacent islets of the Chinio archipelago. The capital is Arecife, with 56,834 inhabitants. Topic: Chinio archipelago. Topic. The Chinio archipelago includes the islands La Graciosa, Alegranza, Montaña Clara, Roque del Este and Roque del Oeste. It has a surface of 40.8 square kilometers, 15.8 square miles, and a population of 658 inhabitants all of them on La Graciosa. With 29 square kilometers, 11 square miles, La Graciosa is the smallest inhabited island of the Canaries and the major island of the Chinio archipelago. La Palma La Palma, with 86,528 inhabitants covering an area of 708.32 square kilometres is in its entirety a biosphere reserve. It shows no recent signs of volcanic activity, even though the volcano Teneguia entered into eruption last in 1971. In addition, it is the second highest island of the Canaries, with the Roque de los Muchachos 2,423 meters (7,949 feet) as highest point. Santa Cruz de la Palma, known to those on the island as simply Santa Cruz, is its capital. Topic: <inaudible> Tenerife. Topic. Tenerife is, with its area of 2,034 square kilometers (785 square miles), the most extensive island of the Canary Islands. In addition, with 906,854 inhabitants, it is the most populated island of the archipelago in Spain. Two of the island's principal cities are located on it: the capital, Santa Cruz de Tenerife, and San Cristobal de la Laguna, a World Heritage Site. San Cristobal de la Laguna, the second city of the island is home to the oldest university in the Canary Islands, the University of La Laguna. The Teta, with its 3,718 metres 12 feet, is the highest peak of Spain and also a World Heritage Site. Tenerife is the site of the worst air disaster in the history of aviation, in which 583 people were killed in the collision of two Boeing 747s on 27 March 1977. Data Economy The economy is based primarily on tourism, which makes up 32% of the GDP. The Canaries receive about 12 million tourists per year. Construction makes up nearly 20% of the GDP and tropical agriculture, primarily bananas and tobacco, are grown for export to Europe and the Americas. Ecologists are concerned that the resources, especially in the more arid islands, are being over-exploited but there are still many agricultural resources like tomatoes, potatoes, onions, cochineal, sugarcane, grapes, vines, dates, oranges, lemons, figs, wheat, barley, maize, apricots, peaches and almonds. The economy is 25 billion euros 2001 GDP figures. The islands experienced continuous growth during a 20-year period, up until 2001, at a rate of approximately 5% annually. This growth was fueled mainly by huge amounts of foreign direct investment, mostly to develop tourism real estate hotels and apartments, and European funds near 11 billion euros euro in the period from 2000 to 2007, since the Canary Islands are labelled Region Objective 1 eligible for Euro structural funds. Additionally, the EU allows the Canary Islands government to offer special tax concessions for investors who incorporate under the Zona Especial Canaria regime and create more than five jobs. Spain gave permission in August 2014 for Repsol and its partners to explore oil and gas prospects off the Canary Islands, involving an investment of €7.5 billion Euros over four years, to commence at the end of 2016. Repsol at the time said the area could ultimately produce 100,000 barrels of oil a day, which would meet 10% of Spain's energy needs. 
However, the analysis of samples obtained did not show the necessary volume nor quality to consider future extraction, and the project was scrapped. The Canary Islands have great natural attractions, climate and beaches make the islands a major tourist destination, being visited each year by about 12 million people, 11 million in 2007, noting 29% of Britons, 22% of Spanish not residents of the Canaries, and 21% of Germans. Among the islands, Tenerife has the largest number of tourists received annually, followed by Gran Canaria and Lanzarote. The archipelago's principal tourist attraction is the Teta National Park in Tenerife where the highest mountain in Spain and third largest volcano in the world Mount Teta, receives over 2.8 million visitors annually. The combination of high mountains, proximity to Europe, and clean air has made the Roque de los Muchachos Peak on La Palma Island a leading location for telescopes like the Granticon. The islands are outside the European Union Customs Territory and VAT area, though politically within the EU and Schengen area. Instead of VAT there is a local sales tax which has a general rate of 7%, an increased tax rate of 13.5%, a reduced tax rate of 3% and a zero tax rate for certain basic need products and services. Consequently, some products are subject to import tax and VAT if being exported from the islands into mainland Spain or the rest of the EU. Canarian time is Western European time wet or GMT, in summer one hour ahead of GMT. So Canarian time is one hour behind that of mainland Spain and the same as that of the UK, Ireland and Portugal all year round. Tourism statistics in 2017, 15,976,000 tourists visited the Canary Islands. The statistics per destination island were Topic. Transport Topic. The Canary Islands have eight airports altogether, two of the main ports of Spain, and an extensive network of autopistas highways, and other roads. For a road map see Multimap, there are large ferry boats that link islands as well as fast ferries linking most of the islands. Both types can transport large numbers of passengers and cargo, including vehicles. Fast ferries are made of aluminium and powered by modern and efficient diesel engines, while conventional ferries have a steel hull and are powered by heavy oil. Fast ferries travel relatively quickly in excess of 30 knots and are a faster method of transportation than the conventional ferry some 20 knots. A typical ferry ride between La Palma and Tenerife may take up to eight hours or more while a fast ferry takes about two and a half hours and between Tenerife and Gran Canaria can be about one hour. The largest airport is the Gran Canaria Airport. Tenerife has two airports, Tenerife North Airport and Tenerife South Airport. The island of Tenerife gathers the highest passenger movement of all the Canary Islands through its two airports. The two main islands Tenerife and Gran Canaria receive the greatest number of passengers. Tenerife 6,204,499 passengers and Gran Canaria 5,011,176 passengers. The port of Las Palmas is first in freight traffic in the islands, while the port of Santa Cruz de Tenerife is the first fishing port with approximately 7,500 tons of fish caught, according to the Spanish government publication Statistical Yearbook of State Ports. Similarly, it is the second port in Spain as regards ship traffic, only surpassed by the port of Algeciras Bay. The port's facilities include a border inspection post BIP, approved by the European Union, which is responsible for inspecting all types of imports from third countries or exports to countries outside the European Economic Area. The port of Los Cristianos Tenerife, has the greatest number of passengers recorded in the Canary Islands, followed by the port of Santa Cruz de Tenerife. The port of Las Palmas is the third port in the islands in passengers and first in number of vehicles transported. The SS America was beached at the Canary Islands in the 90s. However, the ocean liner broke apart after the course of several years and eventually sank beneath the surface. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Rail transport. Topic: 
The Tenerife tram opened in 2007 and the only one in the Canary Islands, traveling between the cities of Santa Cruz de Tenerife and San Cristobal de la Laguna. It is currently planned to have three lines in the Canary Islands, two in Tenerife and one in Gran Canaria. The planned Gran Canaria tram route will be from Las Palmas de Gran Canaria to Maspalomas south. Topic: <inaudible> Airports. <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic. Tenerife South Airport, Tenerife Tenerife North Airport, Tenerife Lanzarote Airport, Lanzarote Fuerteventura Airport, Fuerteventura Gran Canaria Airport, Gran Canaria La Palma Airport, La Palma La Gomera Airport, La Gomera El Hierro Airport, El Hierro Topic. Ports Topic. Port of Puerto del Rosario, Fuerteventura Port of Arecife, Lanzarote Port of Playa Blanca — Lanzarote Port of Santa Cruz de la Palma — La Palma Port of San Sebastián de la Gomera — La Gomera Port of La Estaca — El Hierro Port of Las Palmas — Gran Canaria Port of Agat — Gran Canaria Port of Los Cristianos — Tenerife Port of Santa Cruz de Tenerife, Tenerife Port of Garachico, Tenerife Port of Granadilla, Tenerife Health The Servicio Canario de Salud is an autonomous body of administrative nature attached to the ministry responsible for health of the government of the Canary Islands. The majority of the archipelago's hospitals belong to this organization. Hospital Nuestra Señora de los Reyes, El Hierro Hospital General de la Palma, La Palma Hospital Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe, La Gomera Hospital Universitario Nuestra Señora de Candelaria, Tenerife Hospital Universitario de Canarias, Tenerife Hospital del Sur de Tenerife, Tenerife Hospital del Norte de Tenerife, Tenerife Hospital Universitario de Gran Canaria Dr. Negrin, Gran Canaria Hospital Universitario Insular de Gran Canaria, Gran Canaria Hospital General de Lanzarote Dr. José Molina Orosa, Lanzarote Hospital General de Fuerteventura, Fuerteventura Wildlife Topic. Topic. Prehistoric fauna Topic. Before the arrival of the Aborigines, the Canary Islands was inhabited by endemic animals, such as some extinct, giant lizards Galatea goliath, giant rats Canariomys brevoi and Canariomys tamarani and giant tortoises Geochelone burchardi and Geochelone vulcanica, among others. Topic. Terrestrial wildlife Topic. With a range of habitats, the Canary Islands exhibit diverse plant species. The bird life includes European and African species, such as the black-bellied sand grouse, and a rich variety of endemic local taxa including the Canary Graha, a subspecies of red-billed cho endemic to La Palma Blue chaffinch endemic to Tenerife and Gran Canaria Canary Islands chiffchaff Fuerteventura chat Tenerife goldcrest La Palma chaffinch Canarian Egyptian vulture Balls pigeon Laurel pigeon Plain swift Hubara bustard Spiders Snakes Scorpions Canary Islands oystercatcher extinct terrestrial fauna includes geckos, wall lizards, and three endemic species of recently rediscovered and critically endangered giant lizard, the El Hierro giant lizard or Roque Chico de Salmor giant lizard, La Gomera giant lizard, and La Palma giant lizard. Mammals include the Canarian shrew, canary big-eared bat, the Algerian hedgehog which may have been introduced and the more recently introduced moflon. 
Some endemic mammals, the lava mouse, Tenerife giant rat and Gran Canaria giant rat, are extinct, as are the Canary Islands quail, long-legged bunting, the eastern Canary Islands chiffchaff and the giant prehistoric tortoises, Geochelone burchardi and Geochelone vulcanica. <laughs> Marine life the marine life found in the Canary Islands is also varied, being a combination of North Atlantic, Mediterranean and endemic species. In recent years, the increasing popularity of both scuba diving and underwater photography have provided biologists with much new information on the marine life of the islands. Fish species found in the islands include many species of shark, ray, moray eel, bream, jack, grunt, scorpionfish, triggerfish, grouper, goby, and blenny. In addition, there are many invertebrate species, including sponge, jellyfish, anemone, crab, mollusk, sea urchin, starfish, sea cucumber and coral. There are a total of five different species of marine turtle that are sighted periodically in the islands, the most common of these being the endangered loggerhead sea turtle. The other four are the green sea turtle, hawksbill sea turtle, leatherback sea turtle and Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. Currently, there are no signs that any of these species breed in the islands, and so those seen in the water are usually migrating. However, it is believed that some of these species may have bred in the islands in the past, and there are records of several sightings of leatherback sea turtle on beaches in Fuerteventura, adding credibility to the theory. Marine mammals include the large varieties of cetaceans including rare and not well-known species see more details in the marine life of the Canary Islands. Hooded seals have also been known to be vagrant in the Canary Islands every now and then. The Canary Islands were also formerly home to a population of the rarest pinniped in the world, the Mediterranean monk seal. Topic: <laughs> Native flora gallery. Topic: <laughs> Topic: <laughs> 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 Holidays. Topic. Some holidays of those celebrated in the Canary Islands are international and national, others are regional holidays and others are of insular character. The official day of the Autonomous Community is Canary Islands Day on May 30th. The anniversary of the first session of the Parliament of the Canary Islands, based in the city of Santa Cruz de Tenerife, held on May 30, 1983, is commemorated with this day. The common festive calendar throughout the Canary Islands is as follows. In addition, each of the islands has an island festival in which it is a holiday only on that island in question. These are the festivities of island patron saints of each island. Organized chronologically are The most famous festivals of the Canary Islands is the Carnival. It is the most famous and international festival of the archipelago. The carnival is celebrated in all the islands and all its municipalities, perhaps the two busiest are those of the two Canarian capitals, the Carnival of Santa Cruz de Tenerife and the Carnival of Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. But the rest of the islands of the archipelago have their carnivals with their own traditions among which stand out, the Festival of the Carneros of El Hierro, the Festival of the Diabletes of Teguise in Lanzarote, Los Indianos de la Palma, the Carnival of San Sebastián de la Gomera and the Carnival of Puerto del Rosario in Fuerteventura. Sports a unique form of wrestling known as Canarian wrestling Lucha Canaria has opponents stand in a special area called a torero and try to throw each other to the ground using strength and quick movements. Another sport is the game of the sticks, where opponents fence with long sticks. This may have come about from the shepherds of the islands who would challenge each other using their long walking sticks. Furthermore, there is the shepherd's jump, Salto del Pastor. This involves using a long stick to vault over an open area. This sport possibly evolved from the shepherd's need to occasionally get over an open area in the hills as they were tending their sheep. The two main football teams in the archipelago are the CD Tenerife, founded in 1912, and UD Las Palmas, founded in 1949. As if the 2018-2019 season, both Tenerife and Las Palmas play in Liga Adelante. 
The mountainous terrain of the Canary Islands also caters to the growing popularity of ultra running and ultra marathons as host of annual competitive long distance events, including Transvolcania on La Palma, Transgran Canaria on Gran Canaria, and the Half Marathon des Sables on Fuerteventura. Notable athletes Nicolas Garcia Hem, born 20 June 1988 in Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, Canary Islands, 2012 London Olympics, Taekwondo silver medalist in men's welterweight category minus 80 kilograms. Alfredo Cabrera, 1881–1964, shortstop for the St. Louis Cardinals in 1913, Sergio Rodriguez, born in San Cristobal de la Laguna in 1986, played point guard for the Portland Trail Blazers, Sacramento Kings, and New York Knicks David Silva, born in Arguinegan in 1986, plays association football for Manchester City, member of the 2010 FIFA World Cup champion Spain national football team Juan Carlos Valeron, born in Arguinegan in 1975, played association football for Deportivo La Coruña and Las Palmas Pedro, born in Santa Cruz de Tenerife in 1987, plays association football for Chelsea, member of the 2010 FIFA World Cup champion Spain national football team Carla Suarez Navarro, born in Las Palmas de Gran Canaria in 1988, professional tennis player Paula Torados, born in Las Palmas de Gran Canaria in 1980, synchronized swimmer, who participated in the Olympic Games of 2000, 2004 and 2008. She won the silver medal in Beijing in 2008 in the team competition category. Hesse, born in Las Palmas de Gran Canaria in 1993, plays association football for Stoke City FC, on loan from Paris Saint-Germain. Christo Bazuidenhout, born in Tenerife in 1970, played rugby union for Gloucester and South Africa. Topic. See also. Topic. Canary Islands portal. Topic. History. Topic. Battle of Santa Cruz de Tenerife 1797. First Battle of Asentejo Pyramids of Gamar Second Battle of Asentejo Tanausu Tenerife Airport Disaster – Prior to the September 11 attacks, the deadliest commercial aviation disaster in history Topic Geography Topic Cumbre Vieja, a volcano on La Palma Guadiza Lanzarote, La Matanza de Asentejo Los Llanos de Aradane Oratava Valley San Andres Topic Culture Topic Canarian Cuisine Canarian Spanish Religion in Canary Islands Islanos Military of the Canary Islands Music of the Canary Islands Silbo Gamero, a whistled language, is an indigenous variant of Spanish Virgin of Candelaria Patron Saint of Canary Islands Topic Carnival Topic The Carnival of Santa Cruz de Tenerife Tourist Festival of International Interest and Carnival of Las Palmas are one of the most famous carnivals in Spain. It is celebrated on the streets between the months of February and March. Topic notes topic topic References topic Alfred Crosby, Ecological Imperialism, The Biological Expansion of Europe, 900-1900, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 0-521-45690-8 Felipe Fernández Armesto, The Canary Islands After the Conquest, The Making of a Colonial Society in the Early 16th Century, Oxford U Press, 1982. ISBN 978-0-19-821888-3, ISBN 0-19-821888-5 Sergio Hanquet, Diving in Canaries, Litografia A. Romero, 2001. ISBN 84-932195-0-9 Martin Wiemers, The Butterflies of the Canary Islands, A Survey on Their Distribution, Biology and Ecology Lepidoptera, Papianoidea and Hesperioidea Liniana Belgica 15 1995, 63-84 and 87-118 Topic Further reading Topic Bogazan, F. 1929. Marine Algae from the Canary Islands. 3 Rhodophysiae. Part 2. Cryptomalas, Gigartanales, and Rodimanales. Det Kongelige Danske Vedenskabrens Selskabs Biologiske Metalelser. 8-197. Gil R. and M. Thirlwall, 2012, Tenerife, Canary Islands. Geologists Association Guide No. 49. 
Greensmith T. 2000 Lanzarote, Canary Islands. Geologists Association Guide No. 62. Pegolo, Claus, Bibliography Canary Islands, 2009, ISBN 978-3-00-028676-6 External links Topic. Canary Islands Government Official Tourism Website of the Canary Islands